Hi guys, Aloha. Um, first of all, I really want to say thank you for following my channel. Thank you for liking and subscribing it. And thank you for booking sessions with me. Thank you so much. Um, one of my followers was asking, he was saying, Hey, Agatha, can't you talk about the Illuminatis? And I was thinking, do I want to talk about it? Do I actually know something about it? And then I totally forgot about it that, yeah, I do know stuff about it. It's just that, I don't know. It is just not in my, <laughs> call it whatever. So then when I was living in Germany and I went to see a friend and it was in Munich and also once in Berlin, but in Munich, I want to tell that story. So he said, hey, he's staying with those students and um, they're living in this big house. It's from the Hitler time. It used to be like a real huge building and Munich is expensive if you want to stay and live there. So they stay there for really low budget. Okay, like really low. But you have to be a part of the group. Those children, students, all men, no women, they're all children from really rich families or they're from novelty blue blood. And their parents are mostly Illuminatis. Now, of course, maybe there might be some people say, oh, this, that, no, yes, whatever. I'm just telling what I know. If you think or believe something else, it's up to you. That's fine, right? So I went inside, he introduced me to the people and I can see and read energies. And then I saw, oh my gosh, most of them are actually all are traumatized have low self-esteem and no self-love. And they all looked lost. I was like, okay, what's with those people? And then he said, oh, come, I have to show you something. They always want me to join the club, but I don't want, I just want to stay for cheap. I said, okay, fine, so just show me. So he went with me all the way down to the basement and it was looking like in an old castle, okay? Like all old stone and then there was blood on the ground and I'm like, okay, what's going on here? And then I could see the, 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 the shields and stuff of the knights, you know, like a net made of metal and swords and some other stuff in gears and whatever, tools. And I said, okay, what's going on here? He said, okay, they're doing practice here. That's their fight. So when they have an initiation... And now this is the crazy part. And this is very typical for, Ill for Illuminatis. They hurt each other. And it's all about pain. And it's about abuse. And traumatizing. And I will explain why. So they're fighting. And you Okay, what did he say? You're not allowed to hit the body. But... Um, I don't know, whatever. One guy got hurt on the ear, another guy got hurt on the head and then they bleed and they hurt each other and they fight. I don't know the exact rituals and I don't want to know. If you know more about it, please please share it. But I, I don't want to be involved in those things because those are rituals which are abusive. And those abusive rituals, that's what they do. The Illuminatis are connected to the aliens and there are good and bad ones, right? There's always a dark energy and a good energy. So the dark energy, what they do is they misuse and hurt children, mostly the children, and traumatize them. Because the moment you get hurt, your soul leaves your body. You're in fear, in deep, immense fear, pain, sadness, uh, panic, okay? It's about your life. You can't trust your parents because they're the ones who put you into that position, and you don't trust anyone, you can't connect with Mother Earth, nor can you connect with Father Heaven. And that's when you lose lots of energy, okay? And they live by that energy. Illuminatis have the knowledge, they call it, you can also call it Freemason, they have the knowledge about holy geometry, they have the knowledge about the laws of nature, but mostly they work against law of nature through magic. Politicians have the knowledge. They can even make time cuts in space to change the outcome of an uh, election, which is crazy. They are working with black magic, dark magic, 
to get power, to be more powerful, but they will never be ever connected with their heart because they have no connection to the heart, which is connected to the reptilians. Yes, people say out there that the Dracos and they're also bad, but not all reptilians and not all Dracos are bad. It's like as the humans, they're good and they're bad ones, okay? So never ever forget that. It's very important for you to remember that. And many Dracos and reptilians, they are connected to their heart. They can't even be hurtful to anyone, but they do want to make a change, okay? So... They feed and live by the emotions and fear of children, people, and that's how it works. So the whole system is based on power, um, pain, suffering, and low frequency. And the holy geometry, yeah, the knowledge to have it, the Kabbalah, or for example, there's a lot of knowledge, light, light language, which is awesome. But you can use everything either for good or for the bad. If I have a knife, I can stab you with a knife and kill you or hurt you. Or I can take the knife and cut and eat my vegetables, which makes life easy for me. Right? Or I can shave my beard if I would have a beard. I'm not a guy. <laughs> so, you know, it's always up to you how you use your tools and what you do with it. So this is my story about the Illuminati. If you want to have any other information... I would love to share them with you. If you want a session with me, please book it and just go to my webpage or just send me an email. That would be awesome. And please keep sharing my videos, keep liking them and uh, following. That's awesome. Help me to help others. Like help me to help you so that you can help others. <laughs> Aloha. Bye.